join kids hat family hi i have lost my phone and cannot reach my parents can you please help me make a call home yes sure i can take you to the theater manager he will have a phone thank you Tia what are you doing we will miss the start of the movie we don't even know this boy you never know how important a glass of milk might be tofu what what are you talking about tia what glass of milk you'll know in a minute glass of milk Once upon a time there lived a young boy who was very poor. He did odd jobs to be able to buy his daily food and go to school. One day after school the boy was very hungry. have money today and i have no job lined up till the night how will i make it through the day maybe i should just have some water to fill my stomach so the boy decided to ask one of the houses in the neighborhood for a glass of water he knocked on the first door a young girl opened the door i am very thirsty Can you please give me a glass of water? Yes. Wait a minute. The girl saw the boy's condition and understood how hungry he was. Instead of a glass of water, she brought him a glass of milk. The boy was surprised to see the milk. I cannot take this. I do not have any money to pay you for it. It's okay. You don't have to pay me for it. Oh, thank you very much. The boy drank the glass of milk and felt better immediately. He thanked her and went his way. Many years went by. One day, the girl who was now a woman fell very ill she was taken to the hospital the tests revealed that she had a rare kind of sickness that would need great care for many months dr philip was assigned to her case don't worry we will take care of you thank you as he had promised Dr Philip took great care of her. He visited her daily. Stayed by her bedside at night. And made sure she was always comfortable. After 6 months of intensive treatment in the hospital, the girl was finally well and could go home. But she had a worry. She called the nurse to her room. I am healthy now, but I am worried. It is time for me to pay the hospital bill, but I'm afraid I won't have enough money to do so. Oh, you don't need to worry about it. Your bill has already been paid. What? By whom? Have a look yourself. The girl was astonished. The bill was cancelled across. And in big bold letters it said paid in full years ago with a glass of milk it was signed by dr philips the girl couldn't believe her luck 
Dr. Phillips was the young boy she had helped many, many years ago. Today he had become her saviour and helper. You never know how your one good deed can turn into another good one, Tofu. So never hesitate from helping others. Thanks, dear. I will always remember this now. Dear, I can't reach that book. Can you please help me? Oh no! Ouch! Haha! <laughs> oh Tofu, I am so sorry. It's okay. What is this book about, dear? It's about the seven continents. But what are continents? Well, continents are solid areas of massive land masses. The earth has seven such continents, from largest to smallest in size. Starting from Asia, being the largest continent, then comes Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe and the smallest being Australia. Oh wow! Tell me more about this, Tia. The Seven Continents Let's start with Asia. It's the largest and the most populous continent. Asia has more than 4 billion people residing. The Asian continent is surrounded by the Pacific Ocean, the Indian Ocean and the Arctic Ocean. That's huge, isn't it? Can you guess the number of countries present in Asia? Um, 12? No, Asia consists of 48 countries. Can you believe that? Whoa, that's awesome! And what are those? That's the Himalayas. They are the world's highest mountain peaks. Wow! Since Asia has such a large population, there must be various languages being spoken. Yes, Tofu, there are around hundreds of languages being spoken. And Tia, I read somewhere that India has 30 official languages. That's right, Tofu. You're pretty smart. Oh, thanks, Tia. What about the next continent? It's Africa, the second largest and the second most populous continent. It has around 54 countries. The African continent is surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Mediterranean Sea and the Red Sea. Can you name the largest country in Africa? Mm, no, Tia. Can you please tell me? The largest country in Africa is Algeria. And you know what? Africa has the longest river in the world. It's the River Nile. The African continent also consists of the largest hot desert. It's the Sahara Desert in Northern Africa. Wow! Africans must be proud of having the longest river and the largest hot desert in the country. Yes, Tofu. Next comes North America, the third largest continent in the world. North America has 23 countries and is surrounded by the Pacific, the Atlantic and the Arctic Ocean. Isn't USA in North America? Yes, Tofu. USA is the richest country and Mexico is the most populous. Next comes South America. It is bordered by the Pacific Ocean to the west and the Atlantic Ocean to the east. South America has 12 countries. Wow! What is the next continent, Tia? Next comes Antarctica. It is a continent covered with ice and is bordered by the Southern Ocean. It is the least populated continent and has a windy and a dry weather. There aren't any permanent residents on this island. Amazing! I watched a cartoon that showed penguins living in Antarctica. Is it true? Yes, Tofu. Antarctica 
is a home to many species of penguins. They survive on ice. Next comes the European continent. It is the world's third most populous continent with 50 countries. Russia being the largest country in Europe and the Vatican City being the smallest country in the world. Wow! 50 countries! Yes, Tofu! Europe has 50 countries and finally the smallest continent is Australia. The main cities in Australia are Melbourne, Sydney, Darwin, Brisbane and Canberra. Aren't kangaroos found in Australia? That's right Tofu! Kangaroos and koalas are the most well-known Australian animals. And that's a wrap with all the information that I've given you today. We just covered the seven continents of the world. Thank you for all the information, Tia. I absolutely enjoyed it. Hi, Phil. Hi, Tofu. Hello, Tia. Hello, Phil. Tofu, why don't you take Phil to your room and play? I'll bring you some tasty snacks in a while. Uh, yes, Phil. Let's go to my room and play. Whoa, Tofu, you've got so many toys. Can we play? Ah, uh, yes. I thought we'll go out and play football instead. We can play football too. I just want to play with your toys for a while. Mm, okay. You can play with my toys. Yay, look at the car. It's so beautiful. Is it a remote controlled car? Yes, it's a remote controlled car. My grandma gave it to me on my birthday. Can I play with it? Oh no, it doesn't have a battery. N don't touch it. Mm, okay, but Tofu, this is not fair. I will not talk to you. Why are you not letting me play with your toys? You are my friend. Phil, please, don't touch my toys. I don't like sharing my toys. Okay, Tofu, so I'm going home. This is not what friends do. My mother told me good friends always share. You are not a good friend. Bye, Tofu. Mm, bye, Phil. Wait, Phil. Don't be upset. I will talk to Tofu. He is a very good boy. Mm, okay, Tia. Tofu, say sorry to Phil and let him play with your toys. But, Tia, these are my toys. He should play with his own toys. Tofu, do you remember when you went to Phil's birthday party? He let all of his friends play with his new toys. You played with his toys too and Phil was so happy sharing his toys with everyone. Uh, yes, I remember. Tofu, sharing is not just about giving back when someone gives you. It's about sharing to show that you care for them, no matter what. You should always be kind to everybody. You are right, dear. I'm sorry, Phil. I realize my mistake. You can play with my toys. Really? Thank you so much, Tofu. Thank you, Tia. You're welcome, Phil. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.